you're like most organizations looking to migrate to the cloud, you're wondering, how long will a migration take? What will it cost? And what's the impact on your users? Valiantis team of experts have developed a free workshop designed to help your organization confidently migrate to the cloud. Sign up for our next migration workshop to jumpstart your ascent to the cloud. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, we're talking about Bitbucket Cloud migration strategies and similarities with Bitbucket Data Center. My name is Anton Genkin. I'm a senior product manager for Bitbucket Data Center. Hi, everyone. I'm Gayatri Ramesh. I'm a senior product manager on Bitbucket Cloud. We want you to take three things away from this presentation. First, Bitbucket Cloud is ready for Bitbucket Server and Data Center customers. Whether this means you're beginning to explore cloud and our enterprise feature set, more on that later, or you are one click away from beginning your migration journey, we want you to know that we are ready and excited to support you as you take this next step. We'll walk you through migration resources available to you, including tooling and documentation. Second, we know that most of our customers choose cloud because managing infrastructure in-house is hard. We want you to know that Atlassian's cloud platform is built for reliability, scale, and performance. We do the hard work to make sure that your code and data are safe in the cloud. We'll give you an overview of how we keep your data secure and the controls available to you to manage access internally. Third, while Bitbucket Cloud has customers with thousands of users, including Atlassian with 6,000 plus developers, our product roadmap is continuing to build for scale and performance. We'll walk you through what we're building so you can plan your migration timeline based on your needs. Moving your users and data can be stressful. We hope that this presentation gives you the information you need to move forward with your migration. We continue to build Bitbucket with three main pillars in mind, integrated, trusted, and loved. Integrated. While we already have deep integration with Jira, we are building platform level integrations around user management, billing, and improving data flow between our tools to help increase admin and developer productivity. Trusted. We understand that code is critical to your organization. We want you to trust that your data and code is safe and secure on Bitbucket Cloud. Loved. We want users to love Bitbucket Cloud. This means we continue to make the product easier and faster to use. Let's review what we've shipped within each of these pillars and what's coming next. Integrated. We are building Bitbucket Cloud to be deeply integrated with the Atlassian platform. Bitbucket is the native code and CI CD tool in the Atlassian's open DevOps solution. Bitbucket is deeply connected to Jira software cloud and data flows between the tools seamlessly. When you connect the tools, your broader software teams and stakeholders know what issue is being worked on and where the code is in the pipeline. Teams know what's shipping and the status of each issue automatically. With Bitbucket and Jira service management, you can automate change management processes and simplify incident management. All code changes automatically flow into our Jira service management, so IT ops can review and approve changes. Once approved, the pipeline automatically restarts and completes the deployment. Developers don't have to manually manage this process of opening a ticket for IT, waiting for approval and restarting their workflow. This process is automated. Deployments are also presented as a timeline. So when ops teams are investigating incidents, they can finally find the deployment prior to the incident and know who to contact to roll back and fix. Beyond our native Jira integration, we are currently building to simplify user management across Atlassian tools. Currently, Bitbucket user management is done within Bitbucket. Starting in 2024, you'll be able to manage Bitbucket users in the same way as you do Jira and Confluence via Atlassian admin or from an active directory like Okta via Atlassian access, similar to how Crowd is used today on Bitbucket server in DC. We've made projects into re a real part of the hierarchy instead of just a configuration to better integrate Bitbucket into the Atlassian collaboration model. Like a Jira site, 
Bitbucket projects are containers for repositories and users to collaborate across Atlassian products more smoothly. We just released project permissions to our customers, enabling admins to set permissions in bulk. Project permissions, along with project settings, which we released early last year, is targeted at improving the experience for our admins. Not only does project permissions help to align our collaboration model with Jira, but it adds a new layer of security to our product. Bitbucket Cloud is the native code and CI CD tool within Atlassian's open DevOps solution. With Bitbucket's native Jira integration and best of breed partner integrations across testing, security, and monitoring, your teams can plan, build, and deploy all via the Atlassian Cloud platform. This leads me nicely to our next pillar, trust. When admins ask us how Bitbucket Cloud can support large customers with thousands of users, we point them to our largest customers successfully using Bitbucket Cloud, ourselves. Atlassian 6,000 plus developers use Bitbucket Cloud every day to make tools you love. I'm sure many of you have the same question around Bitbucket Cloud. Can you trust us to manage your data and code? We understand that security and compliance make up your top concerns when it comes to migrating to cloud. We have a few things in place that should assure you that you can trust us as much as your own in-house IT teams to manage your systems. Now that we're running on AWS, we offer both encryption at rest and in transit. Running on Atlassian's cloud platform allows us to leverage security best practices and policies enforced platform-wide, such as resource isolation via security groups, regular OS scanning for known vulnerabilities, regular data backups, and more. Additionally, you can specify a list of IP addresses from which users can access your code. So anyone who isn't on one of your authorized IP addresses won't be able to access your code. We are also offering financially backed uptime SLAs, so your team can be assured that Bitbucket Cloud is committed to meeting your reliability expectations. These are just some of the highlights of the things we are doing to emphasize that Bitbucket Cloud is committed to protecting your code and data in the cloud. Last year, we launched audit logs that will enable admins to track events across their workspace and get information quickly if an audit is required. This integration with Atlassian Access is key for enterprise customers to have enhanced security and centralized administration across all of their Atlassian products. Looking ahead, we are shipping signed commits in the next few months. Signed commits will allow a user to upload a GPG key to Bitbucket and then use that key to verify that they are indeed the author of that commit. This ensures that you can have full control and knowledge over who is committing code to your repos, keeping them secure. We're also soon planning to ship a compliance feature that'll give admins more control on the privacy settings for their workspace. Admins will be able to configure whether or not public repositories can be created inside private workspaces. So keep an eye out for more news on this. Bitbucket Cloud is in the process of developing capabilities leveraging Atlassian's Forge platform as a service offering that will provide customers with the ability to truly customize their SCM and CI and CD tooling to match their needs. Our vision for Bitbucket Cloud is as much a platform as it is a product. Our goal is to give engineering teams and organizations the ability to extend the core Bitbucket experience in ways no other competing solution enables with capabilities like pre-merge, pre-pipeline, and pre-deployment checks, as well as the creation of entirely new experiences directly inside the product through advanced UI extensibility, allowing customers to use Bitbucket Cloud as the foundation for their own bespoke DevOps platform. Loved. Software developers spend many hours each week reviewing code, and engineers familiar with Bitbucket Server are going to love the code review improvements we're making in Bitbucket Cloud. I'm happy to say that we've just launched one of our most highly requested features, syntax highlighting, on pull requests. This will make code easier to, for reviewers to read, thereby speeding up the pull request review process. Bitbucket Cloud is making other improvements to code, the code review process as well. Soon, you'll be able to mark pull requests as resolved, meaning no further discussion is necessary. PR authors and reviewers will be able to clearly see which comment threads still need their attention, while resolved threads will be automatically collapsed. And we're not stopping there. We know that code reviewers often make multiple visits to a pull request during the review process. 
A well-loved feature in Bitbucket Server is iterative review, which allows a code reviewer to isolate changes made to a pull request since the last time they viewed it. This feature will be coming soon to Bitbucket Cloud as well. These improvements are part of our mission to continue making the code review process faster and smoother, allowing developers to write, review, and merge code with confidence. Your teams will get the same great code review experience in Bitbucket Cloud that they're used to in Bitbucket Server. And now, Anton will tell us about the similarities between Bitbucket Cloud and Bitbucket Data Center. Thank you, Gayatri. Even though Bitbucket Cloud and Bitbucket Data Center have some apparent differences in the way they look, one is a first-class DevOps platform, whereas the second is a self-hosted enterprise DevOps solution, they have much more in common than it might seem at first glance. So let's compare. Data center and cloud have similar code review experience, helping developers to quickly navigate and assess even the largest code changes. They can efficiently communicate with each other, obtain uh, insights on the code quality from third-party tools, and create Jira tickets. All that inside a single pull request interface without any context switching. Both products have similar user permission schemes, of global project and repository levels. It allows admins to have granular control over access to code, satisfying even the strictest security and compliance regimes. Despite having pipelines for continuous integration, Bitbucket Cloud also has native integrations with self-hosted uh, CI-CD tools. You can integrate it with self-hosted uh, behind the firewall Bamboo or Jenkins, so you can keep using your existing CI-CD infrastructure in the future without adopting pipelines. Or you can adopt pipelines gradually when you feel that your teams are ready to start. Code security is another area where data center and cloud are much alike. It is essential to catch bugs, vulnerabilities, and leaked secrets early in the development cycle while they're still cheap to fix. Both our products got you covered. Uh, with their built-in code security features like Secret Scanner and uh, have deep uh, third-party integrations with tools like Snake. Finally, Data Center and Cloud are both highly extensible DevOps platforms. You can customize them by using extensive public APIs or using third-party apps. As you know, we have a large ecosystem of apps available through Atlas and Marketplace. There are hundreds of apps for all imaginable use cases. Most apps have both versions, data center and cloud. If you can't find the app that suits your needs, you can always create your own or ask Atlassian Solution Partners for help. Now, when you know that data center and cloud are quite similar, it's time to discuss how to move from one to another. Before we start, I'd like to take a moment to remind Bitbucket Server customers that support of Server Edition will end in February 2024. In just 10 months, Atlassian and Atlassian Marketplace app vendors will no longer offer technical support, security updates, or bug fixes for critical vulnerabilities. If you haven't thought of it, it's time to start thinking about your migration plan, how to move from Bitbucket Server to Cloud or upgrade to Bitbucket Data Center. Migration cloud timelines can vary greatly depending on the complexity of your setup and availability of resources. The typical process includes migration of users, repositories, pull requests, apps data, and reestablishing integrations with third-party tools, including your CI CD tool chain. This process can take anything from weeks in simple cases up to many months in the most complicated scenarios, but the benefits being in cloud is worth it. For most Bitbucket server customers, our recommendation is to migrate to Bitbucket Cloud. Unless you have serious business or, business or technical constraints that demand to host code repositories behind the firewall. In this case, you should consider upgrading your Bitbucket server license to Bitbucket data center. But what about cloud? How do you perform successful migration from server or data center to cloud? We have developed migration strategy framework that will help you decide on the best course of actions for your particular case. As often, it all starts with getting the right people on board and building your migrations team. You're not migrating just repositories and projects. It's your teams and teams of teams that you move. You're going to need help. And if you want to be successful, you need to realize that you're not going to be able to make all the decisions on your own, let alone action all of them. You have to navigate your organization's architecture, 
recruit those who will help you to build and deliver the future through this migration. Find the right people, motivate them to contribute to your migration plans and become your partners. As your migration team is taking shape, the second step is uh, to make the decision about the future dream state architecture and the degree of transformation that is required. Ask yourself, are you happy with your current architecture? Does your migration team seize any opportunities for improvement there? Will it be just a simple translation of your current architecture or transformation into something completely different that serves business needs better? How to define your new architecture in cloud? Draw all the transitions uh, at which users and data will move from server or data center to the cloud. For some of you, it can be a simple one-to-one -one translation of what you already have. But for others, it's an opportunity to optimize. Should you consider multiple server instances uh, in, in one uh, Bitbucket cloud? Or maybe you can leverage multiple cloud instances instead of a single monolith in server. As you already understand, there is no wrong or right solution. Every migration is unique. So it will be a mix. Another important question your team needs to answer is, do you really need to migrate everything? Or maybe you can leave some inactive users, legacy projects, unused apps, uh, and import only what's important to you. Talking about important stuff, uh, existing CI-CD infrastructure is definitely important. We know that some of you cannot move to cloud because of considerations of existing CI-CD. It's worth to reiterate that after you migrate code repositories, you can still use your self-hosted CI-CD tools as you do it with Bitbucket Server and Bitbucket Data Center. Cloud has native integrations with Bamboo and Jenkins. Finally, step three, choose your migration method for each transition that you have drawn. There are four migration methods that we identified. The first one is lift and shift or big bang, as we call it. Basically, you take in the full server or data center instance as is and migrate it in a single downtime window to cloud. The pros are evident. Everything is migrated at once. You have a relatively short migration timeline uh, compared to other options. The second option is optimize and shift. Essentially, it's like Big Bang, but this strategy includes pre-cleaning of your Bitbucket server or data center, removing old and used data, uh, removing inactive users, and migration of only necessary data in a single downtime window. The benefits are that you can migrate only what's needed and possibly have a shorter downtime comparing to lift and shift. With the phased approach, you're taking Bitbucket server or data center instance and breaking it up into more than one migration batch. Batches are usually based on cohorts, separate Bitbucket server or data center instances, maybe less active projects first, more active projects later, uh, maybe team A goes first and then team B follows. Each batch will have its own downtime. The pros of this method is that you will have a phased onboarding of users probably reduce downtime. And also you have an opportunity to get feedback from users that already migrated and adjust uh, migration experience for the next batch. Or you can always consider starting fresh. You simply leave all the projects behind in your Bitbucket server and data center and bring only users to the cloud. Old projects can still be run in server and data center, but the new projects should be created in cloud. The pros are also quite evident. You have no downtime and you can keep your server license for the archiving purposes. So we spoke a lot about Bitbucket Cloud today, but I'd like to take a few seconds and talk about Bitbucket Data Center. Even though server is reaching the end of support in February, 2024, Bitbucket Data Center is not going anywhere. It is and will be our DevOps platforms for those of you who must use self-hosted solutions due to technical or compliance requirements. Bitbucket Data Center is actively evolving enterprise product. We keep investing in performance, security, administration, and developer productivity. 
whether you choose Bitbucket Cloud or Bitbucket Data Center as your final destination, we are certain that our products will help you unleash full potential of your business. Back to you, Gayatri. Anton just walked you through how Bitbucket Cloud, Bitbucket Server, and Bitbucket Data Center are very similar products. We have a well-established path for migrating from server to cloud and have good tools that make this process simple and straightforward. Bitbucket Cloud has resources dedicated to supporting you through your migration. Check out the Atlassian migration program at the URL on screen for more information or scan the QR code to get started. Finally, we encourage all of you to go and try Bitbucket Cloud for yourselves at bitbucket.org. You can quickly and easily spin up an instance and play around as you make the decision to migrate. We're also here to help if you have any questions or want to learn more about anything we talked about. Thank you very much for your time today.